We are now in the Western Cemetery, looking at a family complex of mastaba tombs from the 4th and 5th dynasties. On the right is the earliest mastaba, anonymous, but we have some clues as to the actual owner. In the middle is a large mastaba belonging to a high official named Mer Ib, and on the left, Mer Ib's daughter, Nen Sejur Kai, built her small mastaba in imitation of an actual house with a portico and a porch. We approach the mastaba to the right, the anonymous one, and we can see that one of the burial shafts, the main one, larger than the others, shows these particular T-shaped grooves on one side. These grooves were intended to take a portcullis stone, a large slab that would slide down vertically and lock the burial chamber away to protect it from plunderers. Unfortunately, such portcullis slabs were rarely successful. Through the core of the mastaba, into the bedrock, we now descend to the burial chamber. No one has been here since 1906, when the Harvard University Boston Museum of Fine Arts expedition first excavated the tomb. Thanks to the meticulous photography, drawings, and archaeological documentation, we can reconstruct the exact appearance of this chamber, unseen in color and uninvestigated by anyone since 1906. The casing stones fallen on the floor, the pieces of wood from the coffin, the bones in the canopic pit in the corner of the chamber. All of these elements reconstructed exactly as they originally appeared. Unfortunately, this chamber was plundered in antiquity. Not only can we view the contents of the chamber, but we can pull back into the limestone bedrock and rotate around the shaft and the burial chamber itself, giving us an excellent idea of the proportions and the relationships. In fact, there are hundreds of other similar burial shafts at Giza, and we will be able one day to understand all of the relationships in an effort to reconstruct the chronological development of the necropolis. As we come up back to the surface and look at the exterior walls of the mastabas, we see the empty emplacement belonging to the owner of this mastaba. The bones down in the burial chamber indicate that she was female and died in her 30s, and in fact, she's represented on the walls of the chapel we are now about to enter. This tomb belongs to Mer Ib, and he is shown inside standing with his mother, Sedit. So it is more than likely that the tomb to the right belongs to Mer Ib's mother, Sedit. Inside are four decorated chapel walls, showing Mer Ib in various scenes, standing with his mother, receiving offering bearers, and represented between two false doors on the west wall. This chapel was discovered by the Prussian mission under Karl Richard Lepsius in the 1840s, and it was removed entirely to Berlin. Recently, it was reconstructed and is now on exhibition in the Berlin Neues Museum.